Welcome to the Heat series of today's blockbuster, A Closer Look. The cameraman, the tram. After only uh, three years, I'm fighting for the belt in the UFC. This is a big fight between two kings in the heavy boxing world. Everybody knows if you want to be the real champion, you need to beat the champion. Cyril Gan is an issue, a big problem for Francis Ngano. Not only about fighting skills and experience, but also the support from the UFC president. He's a big, powerful, badass heavyweight who moves like a middleweight. This match is considered the most anticipated match in the first month of 2022. Both boxers are heavyweight fighters known for their classic fights. This promises to be a unified champion belt match that takes the audience's attention from the very first moment. I said they will fight each other. I know that do will happen. It's champion versus champion. The hot match. Ingano will face Gon in a title reunification bout at this weekend's UFC 270. And there's plenty of history between them. They used to train together at Ferris' MMA factory. Ngano leaves the center and comes to the USA for his dream. There's a lot of drama around this matchup. Ngano has been answering some technical questions about the fight. It's safe to say he's pretty confident in his ability to stop the undefeated Gon. I will not be searching for the knockout, but I don't see how we will end this fight without me knocking him out. Maybe under two rounds, Francis Ngano said. Fighting against Francis was in the back of my head, but for me, it was not close. Cyril gone. When I wake up, the first thing I do is watch boxing. The last thing before I go to bed is watch my own videos and realize it's very engaging. The most classic match of January 2022. Please welcome to the bout. First, Francis Ngano. Francis Ngano was born in the African countryside of Cameroon with difficulties in daily life and was not cared for by his parents. He grew up in poor circumstances started contacting and being passionate about martial arts and crossed the border to Europe to cover his daily living. After living homeless on the streets of Paris, Ngano started training for free with Didier Karma, starting in August 2013. As a fan of Mike Tyson, he first learned boxing and was introduced to MMA. He was admitted to the gym for free and had to sleep at the gym because the conditions were too poor. Not only did Ngano accept work and practice at the gym when he had no money in his pocket, Coach Lopez also oriented Ngano to become an MMA fighter instead of following a boxing career. One of the most spectacular feelings a human, being's, a human being could ever experience. With technique and experience gradually developed, plus special strength and body attacks, Francis Ngano is considered one of the strongest boxers in the world, possessing the strongest punch in the human race. His punch is the equivalent to 96 horsepower, which is equal to getting hit by a Ford Escort going as fast as it can. Um, and it's more powerful than a 12-pound sled sledgehammer swung full force from overhead. Holy shit. He is currently the UFC World Heavyweight Champion after defeating former champion Stipe Miocic in 2021. Up to now. Ngano has been evaluated, verified, and identified by many sources as the person with the strongest punch in humanity. Possessing the strongest punch on the planet, Francis Ngano has proven himself to be the fighter with the most fearsome knockout ability in the UFC at the moment. And that machine, Francis registered the highest ever power punch by like 10,000 units, whatever Jeez. the fuck that means. So Tyrone Spong, who's a super powerful heavyweight boxer, 
he scored like 119, I think it was, and or 114, and then Francis scored 129, 129,000, and you see it when he hits people. American superstar Johnson was known as one of WWE's greatest wrestlers before turning to act. The Rock has always been devoted to martial arts, especially Ngano. He is one of the top heavyweights in MMA in the world, and he is a dominant beast of a man. Um, and I can't wait to see him fight again. Indeed, in his victories in the UFC, Francis Ngano has never once resorted to judgments from the judges. Even all of the Predator's opponent's finishes do not need more than two rounds. From Andre Arlovsky, Alistair Overeem, Stipe Miocic, Ngano's opponents all fell after receiving a full punch from the Predator. He's not as tough as Stipe. I know the guy pretty good, you know. He can eat as much punches as Stipe, so as soon as we get like to a close exchange, um, I, don't, I think there will not be many chances to get out of there. Appearing on the MMA Hour with Ariel Helwani, Gan feels disappointed in Ngano's recent actions and feels the snub was unnecessary. For me, it was just for Fernando Lopez, but it was a little bit shame because yeah. you have your future opponent, you have your sparring, your your former sparring partner, also uh, Nasruddin Imavov. Yeah, Nasruddin Imavov did a lot of sparring for Francis Ngannou, maybe the biggest sparring he had on his career. The success of Ngannou since leaving MMA Factory and Lopez's inability to explain the breakup without appearing bitter or jealous her and Gano are currently fueling the feud. So how did Cyril Gan prepare for this battle with the Predator? Let's go. Just let's go. Cyril Gan's confident challenge to defending champion Francis Ngano. Cyril Gan. This is Cyril Gan's eloquent speech to reigning heavyweight champion Francis Ngano after he claimed his interim title following victory over Derek Lewis. Gan is currently the first French-born fighter to win the UFC, and Ngano also trained in Paris before the Predator turned pro. Cyril Gan became a professional MMA fighter less than three years ago, making his debut in August 2018 under the TKO, a Canadian commercial banner. But Cyril's professional combat sports career had really begun two years earlier when he competed at the academic Francois de Moitai, AFMT. This is where he actually won the national title in his home country, France. Cyril Gan currently holds a very nice 10-0 record in his professional MMA career. Gan defeated the likes of Junior Dos Santos, Yarzindo Rosenstrui, and Alexander Volkov, and beat Derek Lewis to secure the interim heavyweight belt. Cyril Gan's coach, who was also the head coach of Francis Ngannou in the past, Fernand Lopez said, Cyril is not a rookie anymore. He's a contender for the title. Lopez declared, He's a effing contender. People need to know that. He's humble, but I've never seen someone improve and grow that much, that fast, that well. Francis Gunn did improve, but if there's someone who can make him miss, that's Sir Gunn. Maximum strength against highest technique. That's how people referred to the match between Francis Ngannou and Cyril Gan on January 23, 2022. In all 16 of his MMA victories, the Predator, Francis Ngannou knocked out his opponents 12 times and finished them 4 times with tight locks. The heavyweight champion is described as the most fearsome pure physical strength fighter ever to appear in the UFC in particular and the MMA in general. I know and he knows if I connect him knock him out. Contrary to Ngano, Zero Gan's impressions come from his ability to compete, especially in his gentle movements like a light boxer. With the kickboxing Muay Thai platform, Gan brings a more relaxed feeling than any boxer who has appeared in his weight class, even a famous technical person like Stipe Miocic. I'm gonna win. You're gonna see my hands up. The UFC heavyweight title will be decided in just a few days. Ngano vs. Gan will take place at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California, USA. But the stories surrounding the match never cease to be hot. Let's follow Boxing Insane for updates on the progress of the match and answer the question,
who will be the winner in this classic belt unification match. I would love to hear your reaction to this video. Thank you. Please leave us a comment with your opinion. Like and subscribe to the channel.